The NFL is back, everybody. Lions at Chiefs tonight. I've got a free player prop for the game that you're going to want to play. Plus, find out which MLB teams you should be selling high and buying low on. This is the Power 5 on Wager Talk TV. So let's get right to the big story. That being how the market is moving for Thursday night football. As of this recording, the Lions are down to plus 4.5. Per the wagertalk.com odds screen, they initially opened plus seven, took sharp money, moved to plus six and a half. Then comes the news earlier this week that Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey would be questionable for this game. Uh, that dropped the number as low as minus four at some shops. Also remember, the Chiefs likely to be without their best defensive player, Chris Jones, who is holding out. Although yesterday, Jones said he could be available if he were to be given a raise. Total... Back to 53 and a half after getting as low as 52 and a half yesterday. You've got to think betters remembered uh, that these were two pretty bad defensive teams last season, particularly in the red zone. The Lions defense actually gave up an NFL high 6.2 yards per play. Also, no defense save for Tennessee's uh, got thrown on more than Kansas City in 2022. Just something to consider there. Uh, let me know in the comments section what your favorite bet is for opening night of the NFL. I'm going to be coming back to this game in just a few minutes with a free player prop. But first, let's transition to Major League Baseball. Just 1-2 and two on the show yesterday after going 8-1 and one the previous three shows. Uh, let's talk about who to sell high on for Thursday. That means I either think a team uh, that's recently been winning is set to crash back down, or a team is just plain overvalued. For Thursday, I'm looking at the Seattle Mariners. Now, they've certainly been hot over the last month, but the M's have started their current road trip with a 2-4 and four record. And I don't think they should be favored tonight in Tampa Bay, where the Rays are 47-24 and 24 on the year. That's the best home mark in the American League, oh, by the way. Uh, Luis Castillo's going against Zach Littell. Uh, that seems to be an edge on paper for Seattle. Uh, after all, the Mariners are 7-0 and in Castillo's last seven starts. But Castillo's had a few blow-ups this season, one of them coming his last time out on the road as he allowed five runs in five innings against the Mets. Another blow-up came earlier in the year against these very Rays when Castillo gave up six runs in six innings. This is ju just going to be the second game all season, perhaps, that Tampa Bay closes as a home dog of plus 105 or higher. For the record, they did lose the first 6-1 to the Braves in early July. Uh, but to me, when I look at Thursday's MLB slate, when I look at this game in particular, I would be looking to sell high on Seattle. Now on to buy low, where we look for a team that's been recently slumping to get back on track, or at a team that we just think is just plain undervalued. Baltimore was the call yesterday as they, again, were too cheap on the money line versus the Angels to pass up. For tonight... I'm looking at the Dodgers, who have lost the first two games in Miami and five of their last six games overall. As a result of the losing streak, LA is currently sitting just around minus 125 on the money line. Price is too good to pass up here in my view. The Dodgers, despite their recent offensive slump, remain the highest scoring road team in all of baseball. I think they can get to Miami starter Braxton Garrett, who has already surpassed a career high in innings pitch. And despite six straight wins... I remain skeptical of these Marlins, who still have a plus, minus, a minus 34 year-to-date run differential. That's worse than the Mets, who uh, no one considers a contender, rightly so. Okay, whether you're or not you're selling high on Seattle or buying low on the Dodgers, please do me a favor. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let me know if you're enjoying the Power 5 here on Wager Talk TV. Yesterday, I talked about all the great feedback this show has been getting. Would love to see that continue. And remember to subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. A ton of great sports betting content here each and every single day, including Wager Talk today with Teddy and Prez and First Pitch later today. I'm going to be on both of those shows. Uh, stat of the day, this is something to consider for Friday when they host San Diego. But the Astros are the first team in MLB history to score 12 or more runs and Homer five or more times in three consecutive games. Hats off to the Strohs for their sweep of Texas to start the week, and a big thanks to Opta for that stat. 
One last order of business to take care of now, and that is the power play of the day, which is on a 6-2 and two run despite yesterday's incorrect call on the Padres. For tonight, time to head back to the NFL, and I've got a player prop for you as promised. David Montgomery, anytime TD, currently sits at plus 125, and we'll go with that here. Montgomery is taking over the role that Jamal Williams had last season for the Lions, uh, where Williams scored 17 touchdowns. He's going to be the goal line back, Montgomery. He was the Bears' goal line back last season. When the Lions get close down to that end zone, they are likely to hand the ball off to Montgomery to get uh, across the, the goal line, get the six points. So David Montgomery, anytime TD, is your power play of the day. And that does it for the Power 5 for Thursday, September 7th. Check me out on Twitter, Brian Power underscore wins. You can get all of my plays at wt.buzz backslash bp. I'll have a different player prop for Lions Chiefs available on my page momentarily. Let's all go cash some tickets.